Hi, I'm Sophie from Encodian, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can start to generate QR codes with logo images in the middle using Encodian Flower. So let's take a look at the solution. So for the solution today, I've created this simple Canvas app. So I'm just going to give a quick demo of the app so we can see how it works, what happens, and then we'll break it down into what's happening for each component. And then we'll go into the flow that's running in the back end to drive the functionality of the app. So I'm just going to click play. So first I'm going to insert my URL here. I'm just going to click the generate button. So what this is then going to do is it's going to trigger the power automate in the back end and the power automate is then going to bring back this QR code here and we can see this QR code has the encoding flower logo in the middle too but if you don't want to add images to your QR codes that's absolutely fine it's not necessary for the action to work it's just up to you and how you want to style your QR codes so not only is the QR code going to appear in the canvas app it's also going to be emailed to me because I'm the current user of the app so if I just go to my outlook here I can see I've been emailed a QR code and it's the same one that's appeared in the app. So that means I can download it or use it for whatever I need to. And then just coming back to the app to refresh, I can just click the reset button and then I can start again. So that's how the app works. So let's have a look at what's actually happening for each of the different components in the app. So I'm going to start with this button and this button is what is firing off the power automate that runs in the background. So we can see here I've got generate QR code dot run. So that's the name of my Power Automate flow. And I'm adding in two inputs to my Power Automate. I'm adding in my text input one. So that's the URL I've entered. And I'm also sending in the user's email. So the text input is needed because we need to know what the URL is that we're going to be generating for the QR code. And we also need to send in the current user's email so that they can be emailed the generated QR code too. So they're the two inputs going into the flow. I've also set this run formula inside of a variable and I'm calling it flow output. And this is because we want to be able to use the outputs of this flow so we can set them as an image in the Power App to make the QR code appear. So I'm setting the flow run as flow output. And then after this, I'm then setting a new variable called QR code as the flow output dot QR code. And this will make more sense when we have a look at the Power Automate itself. But essentially, at the end of the Power Automate, we're going to be sending back that QR code image as a base64 back into Power Apps, which is what this dot QR code is. So, how do we then display that? Well, this square here is actually just an empty image at the moment with a yellow border around it. So, we need to set the image property to this. We need this piece of text here and the QR code variable that we set as the second formula of the generate button. So what this means, this means when the QR code variable contains that base64 string, that's going to populate here and that's how the image is going to appear. Now with this piece of text here, we're setting this image slash PNG because in my flow, the output QR code is of PNG format. With the action, you can choose a different image format. However, if you choose a different image format, you just need to make sure that the slash PNG section of this text is changed accordingly to whatever the image format you're using is. So if it's JPEG, you need to just make sure that it will be slash JPEG. And finally, the reset icon here is just resetting the text input. And it's just setting the QR code variable to blank. And doing this is going to remove that base64 from the variable, which is going to remove that QR code image. So that's the Power App. Now let's have a look at the Power Automate that's driving this in the back end. So this is my Power Automate flow. So we are using the Power Apps V2 trigger here. And these are the two inputs that we saw that we're feeding in. We're feeding in that URL that we want to use for the QR code and we're feeding in the user's email address. And I set this as a string and set this as an email. Next up is I'm getting the file content of my Flower logo. So today I'm saving this in OneDrive. So this is never going to change. It's always just going to stay there. So I'm just going to go and grab that static content. So 
So next we can actually use Flower's Create QR Code Action. So the barcode data is going to be the URL string that we're feeding into the Power Automate. The image format, as I mentioned, that I'm using is PNG. However, you can change the format here, but you just need to make sure that you change that piece of text in the app accordingly. You can change the height and the width. So I've changed mine to 400 each way. Out of the box, when you add this action into Power Automate, the font color and the back color are going to be the normal black and white that we see with QR codes. However, you have free reign to be able to change these colors to what you want. If you want more of a colorful QR code, you can do that. And there's loads of different styling options available as well. So I'm not going to talk you through each one. However, I am going to come through and talk about the logo file name and the logo file content. So this is where I'm adding in that Flower logo image to the center of my QR code here. So I'm using the file content from that get file content OneDrive action. I'm just adding in the file name manually and I'm saying that I want my logo to be in the center. However, you could also add your logo to the top if you want. You can also start to add in lots of different types of captions as well to your QR code if you want, but I've just left these blank for today. So lots of different styling options so you can get your QR code looking like how you want it to look like. So once the QR code has been generated, I'm then sending out an email. So I'm using the input variable, the user email that we're getting from the Power App. And what I'm doing here is I'm just attaching the QR code. So the file name is going to be the outputs from the Flower action and the file content, again, is going to be the output from the Flower action too to attach that QR code to the email. Next, we need to actually send the QR code back to the Power App. So to do this, I've added in a Compose action here. And what I'm doing here is I'm just wrapping the file content outputs from the Flower action in a string expression. So just wrapping this in a string means that when this is passed back to Power Apps, Power Apps isn't going to automatically try and format the file type. And we don't need it to do this because the file content output from the Flower action is already in base64 format. However, if you put it in just as it is, Power Apps will start to do conversions to that, which means you're going to get an error when it goes back into the app and you're not going to see QR code because it's not going to load. So just important here to make sure you wrap this in a string expression. And then to respond back to the Power App, we can just add in this action here. We can see that we've called this QR code, which is what we're using back in the app. And we're just putting in the outputs of that Compose. So that is how the flow works. So I'm just going to go back through and show you one more time how the app runs all together. So we're inserting the URL. We're clicking Generate. So this is triggering the Power Automate. It's going to bring back that QR code as the output variable from the Power Automate, which we're then going to be using as the image input here so that we can see this QR code appear in the app. And we're also going to be emailed our new QR code here as well. So hopefully this video has shown you how you can start to generate your own QR codes using Power Automate. So for this solution, I wrapped it into a Canvas app so that you can generate your QR codes from a Power Apps button there. However, you don't need to wrap it in an app if you have other automated scenarios that don't require it. For this scenario as well, I also added a logo image into the center of my QR code. But again, this is a styling option and you don't need to do that if you don't want to. If you have any questions about anything you've seen today, please leave me a comment down below or get in touch with us at Encodium. And as always, happy automating.